Calipers are an indispensable tool for DIYers, pro makers, 3D printers, and 3D modelers. Whether you're designing, measuring the dimensions of a freshly 3D printed part, calibrating your 3D printer, or reverse engineering an object, a caliber could greatly impact your work. Today we're going to discuss the three types of calibers, digital, dial, and vernier. I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It and today we're answering the questions what are the differences between a digital, a dial, and a vernier caliper. So let's start with a digital caliper. Digital calipers display the measurement on an electronic screen making it the easiest to read. They typically measure in millimeters and inches and easily allow you to switch between the two measurements. Most models offer connectivity features which allow you to connect the caliper to your computer to save the data for later use. Dial calipers use a mechanical dial to display the measurement. The dial rotates as the caliper's jaws move, offering clear analog feedback. While they are not as convenient as a digital caliper, they don't rely on batteries and are good to use where electronics may fail. Now, vernier calipers are the most traditional type of caliper. And if you've been around engineering long enough, or your father or grandfather were an engineer, this is probably what they've used. They use a vernier scale to provide precise reading, requiring the user to manually align the scales and interpret the reading. Although they lack some of the conveniences, such as the digital caliper or even the dial caliper, they're robust and actually provide very accurate readings. Digital calipers are the most user-friendly, making them excellent for quick measurements. Dial calipers require some practice, but offer analog feedback. Vernier calipers have a steeper learning curve, but are really reliable once you've mastered using them. Vernier calipers are the most affordable, often costing less than $20 for the basic models. Dial calipers are in the mid-range, usually between about $30 and $50. Digital calipers could start from anywhere from $25 to $30, and they could go to over $200 plus for some of the ones that have really advanced features. All three types have comparable precision, down to plus or minus 0.02 millimeters. However, user error can impact reading. Digital calipers eliminate some of that by showing the measurement directly on the screen. While dial and vernier calipers require careful alignment, and reading and are often more prone to user error. So how are calipers used in 3D printing and 3D modeling? Digital calipers are ideal for 3D printing where rapid and accurate measurements can speed up calibration and part verification. They're also great for 3D modeling, especially if you're building something to scale or you're reverse engineering a replacement part. Like with most measurement tools, regular calibration is crucial for accurate measurements. Most digital calipers, like this clockwise one, come with a zeroing function that let you calibrate it back to zero easily, while dial and vernier calipers require manual adjustment. So what's the usability like on each one of these calipers? Digital calipers usually have backlit LED screens as well as multiple units of measurement. Dial calipers offer visual feedback, but are a little less convenient in low light environments. Vernier calipers are very durable, but they're slower to read. Some digital calipers, like this clockwise calipers, let you connect your caliper to your computer, streamlining data logging, which is a huge advantage when you're 3D modeling. So what are some applications for calipers in 3D printing? If you're designing a technical part or an articulating part, a caliper is essential for your designing. Part dimension verification is where digital calipers accelerate, providing instant readings. Here's a comparison table about how all three of these calipers stack up against each other. So how do you know which caliper you should choose? For most 3D printing enthusiasts and pro makers, a digital caliper is the correct choice. It offers easy use, accuracy, and versatility. So if you're working in harsher environments, you may want to consider a dial or a vernier caliper. Let's say for instance, you're working on plumbing or you're working with resin 3D printing and you have your resins, you have your isopropyl alcohol, you may have a water bath that you're cleaning your parts in. You may want to consider a dial or a vernier caliper. But remember, there are digital calipers that have IP ratings for harsher environments. 
When choosing a caliper, you may want to keep a few things in mind. Your budget, accuracy requirements, and the requirements of your project. When you've mastered the caliper and you have the right tool in hand, your measurements will always be on point. I just want to thank Clockwise Tools for sending us the calipers that we've used in today's video. We're giving away one of these Clockwise Digital Calipers to one lucky newsletter subscriber. I'll add details and a link in the description below. For more on 3D printing, DIY, or maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making. <laughs>